In the States, and the Dow Jones index has slumped today by 1,150 points, which is more than 4%, meaning that it's lost all its gains for this year. Well, let's go live to New York and our US correspondent, Hannah Thomas-Peter. And certainly the strong US markets, Hannah, have been lauded, haven't they, by President Trump as part of his success. So what's going on here? Well, the prevailing wisdom is still the same, that the fundamentals of the economy are strong and that there are lots of good other headlines like strong wage growth and strong jobs growth. But strangely, paradoxically, those uh, bits of information are the kind of things that are giving people pause and worrying that there may well be too much of infl inflation and they're predicting uh, interest rate rises. And so uh, for many, this is a, an entirely predictable sell-off, a kind of standard adjustment. We're not yet in correction territory and one that is being welcomed uh, perhaps is even needed to take the froth off the market. But there are others, of course, who are really worried by what this represents. Wild volatility, perhaps a change in sentiment, and that days like today will drive further sell-offs rather than encouraging people to buy at the dip. I think separately, though, what is much more interesting about this moment is not just what it means for the markets and people's pension funds and so on, but also politically how this is going to be handled by the Commander-in-Chief because Donald Trump has made a great show of attaching himself to the upside of the markets. He's spoken again and again and has taken credit for how his policies have fueled economic growth and he's often talked about the stock market. That is not a game that his predecessors have ever played in part because the markets are often very fickle. And so the problem, of course, with that strategy is that if you own the upside, you are then attached to the downside. Uh, and unless Donald Trump plays his hand very carefully indeed, that is what's going to happen to him. And we'll see what happens to the European markets on opening tomorrow. Hannah, in New York, thank you.